Alright. I'm starting off the video here in the barn. Here's the calf stall. Um, yeah. But, uh, the real... I don't even know what to call this now. I'm going back to the original name of my channel. Um, Blake the Farmer. And that's what this is going to be about. So this is kind of like our family farm type deal. Um, five calves, all tied up in this stall. We raise them for our meat, and that's it. I have a horse, he stays in that stall. And then over there, I don't really want to get too much in detail of that, because I don't really want to. But my mom has goats in there, and yeah. Um, you're gonna see be seeing more of the cattle side type deal. But uh, let's get in the video. All right. Um, I sh I guess I should be a little bit quiet. It's hunting season. Um, not hunting right now. But uh, if you guys want to see that, make a comment of it. Um, right now I'm out here at the uh, out in the field. I have a plan, and uh, for a food plot. Now, where I live, there was a bait mall where you could not bait. Now this year it's getting lifted, so now we can bait this year for deer legally. Now with this bait mall. I don't really want to go out and buy corn to put it down, so I'm going to grow it over here. This is what I'm thinking. Corn all the way over here, corn, snow, soybeans, pumpkins, all that. Rye, winter rye, all that. But I need a way to plow it up and disc it and work this manure and sawdust into the ground. Um, so I'm thinking about buying like some sort of mini tractor to do that with, work it in. It's going to be a lot of work, but, uh, I can do it. I mean, I don't really know. Um, right there is the pasture, so deer do hop the fence so when they do hop the fence they come over this way and kind of go around here like we have we we do have signs of deer over here so it should be quite awesome or whatever but the main reason is we need deer on our property now I'm gonna I um I don't know if I still have a picture or not but I found two front deer legs that were eaten up by coyotes over there in that brush. Um, I couldn't find them when I was looking for them because I was going to cut them up and place them and bait the traps for coyotes, but I can't find them. So, yeah. And um, this is all past year in the summer for my horse. Which is a kind of a bad thing because I need this to be corn, beans, and pumpkins for a food plot so I can pick the corn, bag it up, and then do it when corn is no longer. So we have a neighbor farm. He's kind of over there. And we have a cornfield, or he has a cornfield right back there. Now, uh, Deer, so deer for sure are in that because they come over here. Like, all types of animals are for sure in that field. I just need to get them over here. And so I'm going to buy a mini tractor, a uh, disc or plow or whatever. And then we can do that. Mini plows and tractors don't really cost that much. But, um... The only way I could get a 
real tractor out here, or a big tractor out here, is through that lane. I need a driveway permit because where I live, I need a driveway permit, and that costs a lot of money. And I don't feel like going to get one or having my parents go and get one because I'm not 18. I can't do that. But anyway, so we spread manure all throughout here. Um, kind of, I guess you can see it, kind of. I'm not really too sure. But over there, you can see it. We mowed all this down. Now, kind of the plan with this is you can actually kind of see it. That was all green rye, winter rye. So, see if we have any calves over here. Next video is going to be in the morning or me doing tour, morning chores in the morning. So, stay on the lookout for that. Um, Nothing really too exciting around right here except I want to make a food plot and my four wheeler is broken. Well, as you guys will be seeing a motor vlog, I can't do that because I need gas and I am like a half hour up from town or any gas station, so I can't really get the gas. So, yeah. That's where I'm at with that right now. But I'm going to buy like some sort of mini tractor farm thing. Plow this all up. Just get all up. Make a huge food plot. And kind of. Yeah. Kind of the track deer over here. Over there in that thick spot. It's a good place for deer to bed. So that's where I'm going to do that at. On our kind of mini farm, I guess you could say. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Mini farm. I don't know. But, yeah. So, and the reason why I'm not hunting today, I kind of slept in till 7. Didn't make it out here early enough. So, when I woke up at 7, I, uh, dad was already out in the barn. So I didn't feel like getting ready for hunting and then going out there and all that. But I'm going to be going hunting this afternoon and later tonight. It's like 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock right now. I have seen deer out here 10 minutes after I came out here and made a huge ruckus. So don't get all up in my face about that. Now, hunting videos. Do you want to see them? I don't really know. But merch is going to be on the way, guys. It is so fire. You don't even know. It, it's going to be so lit. I'm working on it right now. So close to getting it done. So close. Um, if you go over to my Instagram, down in the description, it will be down in the, in the description. Go over there. DM me um, on what you want for the merch. We got sweatshirts, t-shirts, stickers, I can customize stickers, no not really, but I can make your own t-shirt and you can buy it and I can make it for you for a price, um, I think that will work, um, I can make a t-shirt for you, sweatshirt, whatever you want, I can make it for you, and yeah, so, Go over to my Instagram, DM me, it's BlakeWood602, on Instagram, DM me on um, what kind of things you want. I can only make sweatshirts, t-shirts right now, phone cases I might be able to make, I'm not too sure yet. But on the merch shop, we will have phone cases, Apple and Android, stickers, and that will be it. Thanks for watching guys, like and subscribe, and yeah, so... Y'all listen. Peace.